Hello everyone, I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education using the TC2000 and TradingView platforms. Hello, this is the Futures Week in Review, and I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Aussie dollar on the Futures. Looks like Friday was a nice overall gainer. As you can see, this COD index reflects the upcoming week. This was mixed last week with commercials long. And as you can see, positioning changes and so too does our overall bias and direction of the overall fade. Nice overall gain on Friday. Next was the Euro. Commercials were negative. They had overall loss on Wednesday. Japanese Yen. Been doing these Z3 longs here. But as you can see, the overall turn happened a little bit after. So I was a little bit early on this overall turn, but it started here. Nice overall gain on Friday. Even the Brazilian rail squeaked out a little gainer here on Wednesday. Seeing dollar, a little loss on Thursday. A major turn from mixed to crowded long for this week. Next was crude oil. Right after the Monday COT come out, nice overall gain on the next day. On Tuesday, no further trade the rest of the week. Milcat an overall trade, a little loss on Thursday. Dollar had a nice trade on Friday, nice overall gain. Midcap had a major loss on Wednesday, complete reversal to the upside despite the crowding, as well as gold. Gold had a little bit of a loss though on, on Tuesday. Another loss on Friday for copper. Heating oil, superb short though. Just continued on Monday, Tuesday, all the way till Wednesday. Nice overall fade for heating oil. Hard red wheat, had a little signal to go long here. However, Friday was a loss. Lumber showed a jump though on Friday. Nice over confirmation on Thursday. Nice overall gain on Friday. Live cattle, beautiful fade here on Tuesday, out on Wednesday. And then a, a little get back on, on Friday. Nice overall gain for the week. Biggest gainer, however, was the Nikkei. And what I did was I used the Nikkei Yen. Give me the signal and confirmation and cot. Show the contracts on the Yen side. And look at the overall crowding in the 80th percentile. Nice cot index. So I went long on Tuesday. Nice overall gain. And I also went long on Wednesday. Since it's beyond the Z3, I did not go long on Thursday and as you can see it decided to retrace. Best overall gain for the week. NASDAQ overall loss on Friday even after this overall signal. Same with orange juice overall loss on Friday. Russell 2000 another beautiful gainer here. Started on Wednesday nice confirmation and just continue to go up for the next two days. Beautiful fade here. Sugar nice overall gain on Friday. We'll get back here on Wednesday. 10 year, nice overall gain on Friday. And ultra bonds, nice overall gain on Friday, similar move. Finance, I know it's low liquidity here, but look at 100% of the large speculators are short. Nice overall gains on this fade. Nice cod index and support, continue to go up the entire week. Same with industrial, all large speculators are short. And this huge squeeze to the upside to finish at the Z3 excursion and this overall gravestone doji. Now, overall loss on Wednesday, this complete reversal to the upside, along with NASDAQ. Their year bonds, overall signal here for Wednesday, loss. So the other two bonds were long, this one was short, and this was overall give back on Wednesday. Five year overall long, same as the 10 year in the ultra bond. Nice gains on Friday. Soybean meal, nice gains to the downside. We'll get back here on Thursday. Ten year to the upside Friday. Nice overall gain. Same with the other bonds. And last was the two year. It also had a signal for Friday. Nice overall gains along with all the other bonds. Nice overall gains in terms of return on equity of 10%. Nice, nice overall trades for this week. So if I'm looking at the changes for next week, you can see the majority of the foreign currencies are now crowded long with commercials below their six month average. And we do see a lot of the S&P starting to get crowded long too as well. Interesting note on the three month SOFR. It is crowded short. Still moving up higher. Still I have a couple currencies here. Four of them that are crowded short. In the 87th percentile, 84 percentile, 74 percentile, 
and 91 percentile for Swiss franc. Watch out for Swiss franc here. Could be an explosion. Has a caught indice to the upside. Massively crowded short. Commercials 81 percent. Nikkei Yen hasn't really switched that much even with this major surge for the past couple of weeks. Still to the upside. So look for potential reversal here. It did however hit its point figure target here and did a reversal a little retracement bounce still massively crowded short and rice that has been red for the longest time in terms of crowded long is now commercials have now moved above their six month average turned gold so we may start to see a lot of the grains become crowded short and then our mix remains the same looking at the currencies in terms of futures is all the foreign currencies minus the dollar they gained for the past two weeks Looking at the softs, crowded long, past couple of weeks moved, in, moved up this week. They went up in price. Metals, almost caught indice, maximized to the short side. Still crowded long in the 70th percentile. Despite the rise in gold, overall net, the metals have gone down, which included palladium, platinum, silver, copper, and gold. Fixed income is mixed. And to note that large speculators in the 70th percentile, they're short. So it could be going up as it has in the past couple of weeks for all of the fixed income. Grains have continued to go down even though they are crowded short. But it's only been in the 50th percentile as a category group. Energy is crowded long as it went down. Four as a category. Overall net 4K. Commercial equities are mixed, and as you see, commercials are 50-50 here. But long for the past two weeks, nice overall gains continues to move up in favor of the small speculators. What I'm starting to see is that the more commercials are aligned with large speculators, the go, price goes, tends to go with some probability for the small speculators. We'll see how this all pans out. Just interesting gains of this overall surge to the upside. Well, folks, that's all I have for the Futures Week in Review. If you're interested in these kind of strategies going forward, programming in both PineScript or Python, auto trading, or joining a community to better understand the commitment of traders' tables through Crowded Market Report, click on the links below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see you on Sunday. Well, if you like this video, hit the Like Rumble button below and the Subscribe button. And if you want more information, click the course information links below. On the TradingView link and on TC2000, I have an affiliate link. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.